welcome to the third instalment of System Active's VR series. Today we will be looking at the HTC Vive Flow. My name is Phoebe. My name is Dominic. Right, let's get started. Dom, please could you just tell us a little bit more about this VR headset? Yeah, of course. So probably first thing to kind of say is it's um, more considered sort of VR glasses or VR goggles. So we've got a totally different form factor to what we've shown before. Um, yeah, genuinely looks like glasses, incredibly lightweight and it's sort of broken at the back here. So very easy and quick to take on and off. They've managed to achieve this by basically taking the battery out. You would need to tether it in some way. We've just got a really small lightweight power bank here and you could use your phone, you could use your laptop or obviously your desktop. What's quite unique about the HTC Flow is that inside we've got a prescription adjustment. I don't know if I'll be able to show, but yeah, in there you can adjust the lens as per your glasses prescription. Really great feature because a lot of people worry if they can wear their glasses inside you know, traditional headsets and this will completely do away with that. It's also got just a really nice simple remote and quite often in you know large classroom or event environments you don't want people messing about with the remote so that's a sought after kind of feature. HTC are a really enterprise focused company in this space. They've been in the space a long time and they're doing really good work. Um, the, the benefits you get with a company that is considered like that is kind of all the software that comes with the headset as standard or that you can get cheaply the Vive software and then also the softwares that it integrates with. Um, so they, HTC as a company have spent a lot of time making sure if you're doing CAD work that the headset can natively just be an output to view your CAD work. You don't have to do any extra work to make things viewable on the headset. So HTC as a company really, really good. Uh, HTC the first company to build a a VR headset with this sort of chassis model. Yeah, yeah, completely new to the market for, for VR, yeah. That's really cool, definitely. And who would you say is the best sort of use case for this headset? So, yeah, I think most commonly we see it in kind of education, events, um, those kind of large scale, almost seminar use cases are great, just because again, because it's so lightweight, it's quick, they're reasonably cheap, affordable headsets. Um, Use case wise, kind of lightweight applications, 360 video, so product launches at events, um, yeah, a teaching environment. And again, you can use some of HTC's own software um, to easily collaborate and setting up a classroom environment is, is cheap and, and easy to do. Sounds really good. I mean, how can people find out more from us about this headset? So, as always, we can always come to you and demo this equipment. Um, and give you a good show of what it's like or we're also happy to send it out for a couple of weeks for you to test completely free. Just like everything we do, we're keen to get people to, to try the equipment um, and we like to offer that as, as a service and we'll support you through that. So yeah, please get in touch if you're interested in, in the Vive Flow or anything else that we do. Definitely, yeah. Like Dom said, please get in touch with us on online at systemactive.com if you want to find out more about the HTC Vive Flow. If you want to check out our other VR videos, we've done one on the Pico and the Vario. I'll link them up here. Um, but yeah, other than that, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.